Right, so we've got here a graph representing the function y equals f of x. We've got two points on the on the line p and q. P is the coordinates x y. Q is the coordinates x plus uh, delta x and y plus delta y, where delta delta x is the difference between y and x plus delta x, and uh, the same for delta y. The the gradient of the of the chord PQ is equal to delta y over delta x. And that is approximately equal to uh, dy by dx as x gets small. So when uh, where's delta x gets smaller? As delta x gets smaller, this point Q moves along this line. And when x is smaller and smaller, say here, then our chord is essentially the same gradient as the tangent to the line at this point, and that and the tangent to the line at a point is dy by the x. So then we can define delta y has been approximately equal to dy by the x delta x and we call this the small the small changes alright so small change of y is approximately equal to dy by the x delta x and our series at the moment is on partial derivatives so how does this relate well we can see a formula in terms of a function z of x and y and we get a similar formula for the small changes of z and we'll see that in a minute so our small change formula for uh, z is equal to some function x and y is delta z is approximately equal to partial dz dx um, by delta x plus by plus partial z dy um, delta y okay and this this is a I'll draw this again is not equal to it's a and approximately equal to two, so curly upper equal sign, and then just a regular line there. Okay, so it's important to formula to remember finding the the small changes of z in terms of x and y. Uh, well, and, and some partial derivatives. The next video in this series is going to be looking at the various chain rules we have for partial derivatives, uh, well, as well as the the uh, conventional chain rule for a function of one variable. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one.